The isolation transformer that we built in the previous tutorial transfers AC power from one circuit to a second circuit using magnetic fields. Very cool. An interesting phenomenon for sure, but we didn't transform any voltage. So the question is, how do we make a transformer that can step up or step down the voltage? Well, it all comes down to the number of coils on each side of our transformer. Consider, if we increase the number of coils on the secondary side of our transformer, what do you think happens? Well, thinking back to our induced EMF formula, we have a regularly changing flux through the coil, the magnetic field switching back and forth, and recall that N is the number of loops. And so each additional loop adds to the overall induced EMF. So if we add more coils on the secondary side, that is, N gets bigger, then we create a bigger EMF, which means a larger output voltage. So more coil loops on the secondary side gives us a step-up transformer. The voltage is stepped up or increased, and the current would therefore be decreased. Now, if we decrease the number of loops on the secondary side, that is, N becomes less, then the induced EMF is smaller, which means a smaller output voltage. So less loops on the secondary side gives us a step-down transformer. That is, the voltage is stepped down or decreased, and the current would be increased. So let's go back to our formula and establish a relationship to help with more specific design parameters. Now we've been looking at our secondary side, so let's exchange the EMF here with Vs for secondary voltage. And we'll also add an S to the end to indicate the number of loops on the secondary side. And so Vs over Ns equals the negative rate of change of flux. And we also know that the rate of change of flux here is generated from the primary coil. So it's the same throughout the entire core. So that means we can transfer this same idea to the primary coil. Vp over Np is also the negative rate of flux. So let's combine these two equations and we get Vs over Ns equals Vp over Np, which can be rearranged a few different ways. But we can now, looking at the number of coils in each side, not only recognize step up and step down transformers, but we can also use our new equation to determine exactly how much they step up or step down the voltage.